Hey y'all, today on Grilling with Granddaddy Daddy, we're gonna do a smoked shrimp po' boy. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shrimp and we're gonna put them on skewers. This is gonna make it a lot easier to turn them when we get them on the grill. We're just gonna run them up through the tail, run them up through there, and we're gonna put five or six shrimp on each skewer. And we're just gonna thread them real carefully. I did soak the skewers first just to make sure they didn't burn. And we, we're gonna grill them indirect on the egg. <clears throat> but all we're doing is just threading them on there and then we're gonna set them aside. So this is what it looked like when we were doing it. Had some audio issues, so I'm having to voice over this part. But there we go. Now I'm gonna do the rest of them and then get back to you. Okay, so we got them all on the skewer. Now we're gonna take some of our HB Smoky Honey Habanero barbecue rub. You can use whatever barbecue rub you like. And we're gonna thoroughly coat all the skewers. We're gonna coat them on both sides. We're gonna coat the back. And we just wanna make sure that we get them coated really, really good. So I'm gonna finish coating them and then we'll get right back to you. All right. We got our grill heated up to 275 degrees. I sprayed cooking oil on my grill grate. I'm gonna place all of the skewers on here. We're gonna cook them for about three, three and a half minutes aside. So let's get them cook, cooking and we'll be right back to it. Okay, it's been three and a half minutes and they're looking really good. So now we're gonna flip them and we're gonna let them go for another three minutes and then we're gonna pull them because we don't wanna overcook them and have them be all rubbery. So we're gonna let them cook for three more minutes and then they'll be done, we'll give it a go. All right, they are done. They got a nice little white color to them. You look at that, man, they're gonna be good. Let's get these things off the grill and get inside and make us some po' boys. I can't wait. Okay, we got them inside. Let's get these shrimp off the skewers so we can make some po' boy sandwiches. Man, it looks good, I can't wait to taste one. I'll probably taste one here in just a minute. All right, so I'm going to take the rest of the shrimp off the skewers and then we'll be back. Okay, let's make us a po' boy sandwich. We're going to start off with a nice, good bed of lettuce on the bottom. Let's get that lettuce on there just good. And then we're going to put some tomato on there. <laughs> you got to have some tomato on a good old po' boy. Now let's put some shrimp on there. And we're not going to be sparing with them shrimp. This ain't no restaurant, po' boy. So we're going to load this bad boy up from one end to the other with some shrimp. All right, let's put some sauce on here. We mixed up some Kinder Honey Hot Barbecue Sauce and some cocktail sauce. Two parts Kinder Honey Hot, one part cocktail sauce. Let's lather this thing up and eat. Okay, so we ended up doing a voiceover for the whole video, but we're ready now. Let's take a taste. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, that is good. The smoky flavor from the sauce, a little bit of heat from the rub. That is show sure enough good. Okay, that's it. That's a quick, easy, simple recipe. It only took 30 minutes from start to finish and that included me peeling the shrimp. It's great for tailgating. It is great for if you just wanna have snacks with friends over, just cut the pieces up a little bit smaller. I used hoagie buns and cut them in half. Okay, as always, I'm gonna put the recipe down in the description below. It's really simple, and I hope you enjoy it. In the meantime, also in the description, I'm gonna put the link to thermopro.com. You can go to their website, check out what you want. I mean, they have all kinds of temperature gadgets and tools for cooking, and they have some temperature stuff for outside your house as well. Just use uh, coupon code thermoproteam, and you'll be able to get whatever you need, save 15%. That does it for this edition of Grilling with Granddaddy Daddy. And until next time I see y'all at the grill, y'all keep on grilling.